Hey Sean, as promised, here's a lesson on um, what I tend to think of as cheat chords, uh, in that they, uh, they make it much easier to move your fingers around. Um, they're not really cheating, they're very popular with folk music, um, and you've probably heard them in lots and lots of songs. Um, start with the first one. You know how a G is normally like that? Sounds like that. If you throw the B in. Okay. Now, the cheat way of doing that is to take these two fingers and put them on these two strings at the third fret. And then make a G shape. Like that. Okay, so see how that's working? What we've done is added in a D. A D on the second string, third fret. If I play the two, you can hear the difference between them. Now the beauty of that system is that you can play a C like that, just by moving those two fingers down. down two string, a one string each, and you've got the basis of a C, but it's added a D into it. Now, there's the G, and there's the C. Get the camera to focus on them. Switch cameras. I'm using the uh, camera built into the Mac for a change because setting up the other camera outside requires me to use two Macs. Because the firewire on this isn't working, uh, which is a complete pain in the arse. So I'm trying it the easy way now. Uh, there are those two chords. Let's copy them down. That's a G. Uh, that's a G. Okay. This one is not quite a C. It's called the C add nine when you add in that D. Okay, you want to copy that one down, those two to let's copy those two. Okay. So there's a G. And it's got that lovely rigging, it's lovely ringing high notes there. Which lifts it, the whole chord. If I just play a normal G like that, that yeah, sounds okay. When you add in these two, it's got a lift to it. Okay. And then it's just so easy then to move to a C. I'm actually muting the top string with this finger here. It's just touching the top string. Or you could use your thumb. But I just generally, when I play as the C, I mute the top string with that third finger. Well, in the main part of that, I was playing, started on a C, switched to the G, back and forth like that. To get a variation on the C, I lifted off that third finger off the D. And you could do the same with the G. Okay, you might find that quite awkward trying to lift that one particular finger without it all going hideously wrong. I just practiced. And then I went to Oh, what's that? Well there's another one. That 
is the E minor 7. Now I'm using one finger here. So, using one finger to cover two strings, which I was telling you about earlier in the, uh, the video on the A, E, and E minor chords. One finger there. Okay, and that sounds like. There's your normal E minor. There's an E minor 7. And that gets used a lot by people who are playing in with these uh, so-called cheat chords. So that's a third chord you can ring out of this without having to move these two fingers. They just sit there the whole time. C, G, E minor. Let's see, let's see, okay, here's a song you might recognize. Recognize it? Today is gonna be the day when we're gonna bring it back to you. Yeah, Wonderwall. Wonderwall. E minor, starts on the E minor, then it goes to the G version of the G chord, then it goes to this one here, which is a D version. Okay? So we just got that finger, index finger on the second fret of the G string, to give something that's very similar to a, it's one note different from a D chord. D sus4. Okay. And then the next note it goes to, the next chord it goes to, has those two strings held down by one finger. Second fret on the fourth and third strings, and you play the A, so you get a cheap form of the A chord. So it goes, today's gonna be the day when they're gonna bring it back to you. By now, you should have somehow realized what you gotta do. I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you. Now, there's the C one. Back to the D and then the A, and that's the end of the verse. So you play the whole song, play the whole of Wonderwall using these cheat keys, uh, cheat chords. Right? So those other two, which I haven't seen so far, there is the, the D cheat, so to speak. D sus4. You copy that one down. And here's the A cheat called A7 sus4. Okay, copy that one down. And they turn up all over the place, and you can use them as a, a variation to, to add a bit of sparkle. about anything. Okay? So those are the cheat chords. Practice them. They're very simple movements of just these two fingers to get from one to the other. So have a go at those. See how you get on. Okay? Cheers for now.